To free Brittany Griner, the U.S. is proposing a prisoner swap with Russia. In an unusual move, Secretary of State Antony Blinken released details ahead of any formal agreement with Russia. ABC's Derek Dennis explains. ABC News has confirmed the U.S. has proposed a prisoner swap with Russia, trading WNBA star Brittany Griner and former Marine Paul Whelan for the release of Russian arms dealer Victor Boot. We have sought to resolve these cases to see Paul Whelan, Brittany Griner uh, freed um, as soon as we started working these cases. We are now escalating this to the level uh, of the secretary in the hopes of moving this to resolution. The Biden administration making the unusual decision to publicize the offer. It was important to put this out there, that the American people know how seriously President Biden takes his responsibilities to bring American citizens home when they've been unjustly detained. Boot is serving a 25-year sentence in the U.S. for international arms trafficking. A source confirms to ABC News the Department of Justice initially opposed his release, but President Biden himself approved the plan. Brittany Griner has been detained in Russia since February, pleading guilty earlier this month, accused of carrying vape cartridges containing cannabis oil. Whelan has been detained for over three and a half years, serving a 16-year prison sentence for espionage, a charge he and the U.S. government have called baseless. His family hopeful he will soon be home. Ms. Griner, uh, her, her supporters, her uh, advocacy on her own behalf, her supporters' advocacy, has been very gracious in including Paul's case uh, and and calling for both Miss Griner and Paul's freedom. But not included in the prisoner swap announcement, detained American teacher Mark Fogel, sentenced last month to 14 years on drug charges. We think that he qualifies for the status of wrongful detention and that the U.S. government should use all of its efforts to try to get him out. Meanwhile, the Kremlin says it's reached no formal agreement with the U.S. and that any possible prisoner swap needs to be negotiated quietly without too much publicity.